Thai Pongal Tamil, Thai Pongal is a harvest festival dedicated to the sun god. It is a three-day festival which according to the Tamil calendar is usually celebrated from January 14 to January 17. Thai Pongal corresponds to Makara Sankranti, the harvest festival celebrated throughout India. Thai Pongal is one of the most important festivals celebrated by Tamil people in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, the Indian Union territory of Puducherry, and the country of Sri Lanka, as well as Tamils worldwide, including those in Malaysia, Mauritius, South Africa, United States, Singapore, Canada, and UK. The day marks the start of the sun's six-month-long journey northwards, the Uttarayanam. This also corresponds to the Indic solstice when the sun purportedly enters the tenth house of the Indian zodiac Makaram or Capricorn. Thai Pongal is mainly celebrated to convey appreciation to the sun for a successful harvest. Part of the celebration is the boiling of the first rice of the season consecrated to the sun. History The origins of the Thai Pongal festival may date to more than 1,000 years ago. Epigraphic evidence suggests the celebration of the Puthiyidu during the medieval Chola Empire days. Puthiyidu is believed to represent the first harvest of the year. Tamil people refer to Pongal as Tamizar Thirunal, the festival of Tamiz. Thai Pongal, also referred to as Makara Sankranti, is referred to in the classic work of Hindu astrology, the Surya Siddhanta. Topic. Etymology Thai refers to the name of the tenth month in the Tamil calendar, Thai. Pongal usually means festivity or celebration, more specifically Pongal is translated as boiling over or overflow. Pongal is also the name of a sweetened dish of rice boiled with lentils that is ritually consumed on this day. Symbolically, Pongal signifies the gradual heating of the earth as the sun travels northward toward the equinox. Topic: <inaudible> Pongal dish. Besides rice and milk, the ingredients of this sweet dish include cardamom, raisins, green gram, split, and cashew nuts. Cooking is done in sunlight, usually in a porch or courtyard, as the dish is dedicated to the sun god Surya. The cooking is done in a clay pot that is decorated with colored patterns called kolam. Pongal has two variants, one sweet and one savory. The dish is served on banana leaves. Cooking pongal is a traditional practice at temples during any part of the temple festival in Tamil Nadu. Topic. Days of the festival Topic. Thai pongal The main event, also known as Thai Pongal, takes place on the second of the four days. This day coincides with Makara Sankranti, a winter harvest festival celebrated throughout India. The day marks the start of the Uttarayana, the day of the Indic solstice when the sun purportedly enters the tenth house of the Indian zodiac i.e. Makara or Capricorn. In the Tamil language the word Pongal means overflowing, signifying abundance and prosperity. During the festival, milk is cooked in a vessel. When it starts to bubble and overflows out of the vessel, freshly harvested rice grains are added to the pot. At the same time other participants blow a conch called the Songu and shout, Pingalo Pongal. They also recite, Thai Parandal Vazi Parakam. The commencement of Thai paves the way for new opportunities. This is repeated frequently during the Pongal festival. The pongal is then served to everyone in the house along with savouries and sweets such as vadai, maruka, payasam. Tamilians decorate their homes with banana and mango leaves and embellish the floor with decorative patterns drawn using rice flour. Kolams, rangolis are drawn on doorsteps. Family elders present gifts to the young. Topic. Matu pongal Matu Pongal is celebrated the day after Thai Pongal. Tamils regard cattle as sources of wealth for providing dairy products, fertilizer, and labor for plowing and transportation. On Matu Pongal, cattle are recognized and afforded affectionately. Features of the day include games such as the Jalakatu and Taming Bull. Kanu Pidi is a tradition for women and young girls. During Kanu Pidi, women feed birds and pray for their brothers' well being. As part of the 
Kaka Pidi, Kanu Pidi. Feast women and girls place a feast of colored rice, cooked vegetables, banana, and sweet pongal on ginger or turmeric leaves for crows to share and enjoy. During this time, women offer prayers in the hope that brother sister ties remain forever strong as they do in a crow family. On this day, celebrants bathe and decorate their cattle with garlands. Cows are decorated with manjaldani turmeric water and oil. Shikake apply kungumam to their foreheads, paint their horns, and feed them a mixture of ven pongal, jaggery, honey, banana and other fruits. In the evening people pray to Lord Ganesh. One ritual is to light a torch of coconut leaves and carry it around cattle three times and then run to the border of the village to drop it. This is believed to remove the evil influences caused by the jealousy of other people over the cattle. Kanam Pongal Kanam Pongal, the fourth day of the festival, marks the end of Pongal festivities for the year. The word Kanam in this context means, to visit. Many families hold reunions on this day. Brothers pay special tribute to their married sisters by giving gifts as affirmation of their filial love. Landlords present gifts of food, clothes and money to their tenants. Villagers visit relatives and friends while in the cities people flock to beaches and theme parks with their families. Celebrants chew sugar cane and again decorate their houses with kolam. Relatives and friends receive thanks for their assistance supporting the harvest. In Andhra Pradesh, Mukanuma, the final day of Sankranthi festival, is celebrated by worshipping cattle. Mukanuma is famous among non-vegetarians. People do not eat non-vegetarian dishes during the first three days of the festival, saving them for the day of Mukanuma. U.S. <inaudible> observance In 2017, Delegate David Bulova introduced a joint resolution H.J. 573 in the Virginia House of Delegates to designate January 14 of each year as Pongal Day. See also List of harvest festivals Notes References Severi, Nikolapillai Maria Jaffna the Land of the Loot. Thirumurai Kalamanram Publications. p. 125. ISBN 0 9681597 0 2. External links <inaudible>